Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishal. In this video, let's have a look on the Z uh, Modulus Extrude Move option. It is an edge action. So I can select the Z Modeler from the brush palette here, which has a lot of uh, modeling tools. And uh, I can also press B, Z and M for that. Once that is done, I need to hover the cursor on the edge and hit space bar and then select Extrude Move. Once that is uh, uh, picked if I select any edge and drag it doesn't show any effect because I've selected the edges which are between the polygons It only works for the border edges which are one side open uh, With no face so I can select and drag like that. So here we got different types of targets I'll be choosing the edge just click and drag and you get the edge here. Okay edge is a single edge uh, feature now whereas I choose the uh, edge loop and then drag it it extrudes the total loop of you know polygons there you also have polygon loop where I need to click and drag and you should be able to see the total loop of the border loop is uh, basically extruded. Let me just uh, go to the delete feature in the uh, polygon faces and delete few of the faces there and then come here and then choose the loop and then extrude. You should be able to see whatever the contiguous uh, loop is selected is only extruded. It's showing no impact on the center polygons there. However, I can choose the mesh border and then just click and drag and you should be able to see those uh, difference. I mean the border and the center is you know extruded. Now let me just uh, uh, choose the edge again it extrudes only edge. Now why is this edge two times? Uh, if you could see there is edge and slash edge loop. So if I generally um, drag and hold alt you get the edge loop. Now if I just select the edge and poly group and then hold alt it selects it gives the total polygon loop here. So the only thing is to you know switching from edge and edge loop is when I'm dragging I need to press alt and then you get the you know transition from edge selection to the edge loop selection same thing works for edge and poly loop when i'm dragging an edge hold alt and then you get this and also we can just uh, hold control and then um, drag with uh, sort of increments uh, between these polygons there uh, you can also um, get different values here let me just uh, choose the single row here okay uh, which is giving me a sim single row i need to just select it to the edge and then you get this but if i choose number of rows to five and then just click and then you should be able to see no matter how big the edge is drag the subdivisions in those drag is divided five times like that uh, you also have row size when i'm just clicking that uh, the row size is controlled by the value which is here in the slider so the bigger the value the bigger the row size and i can also control those sizes to the smaller one like that so it works for the loop also you should be able to see that so these are uh, the modifiers for this column and then we have a free move now what that actually does is uh, i need to just change this scene so you should be able to see i have created a new scene here i have got one sphere okay and on top of that i've got an edge here so i select the z modeler and then select the edge here extrude move and then you should be able to see there's a free move and a snap to surface option so i'm selecting those edges and then you should be able to see i'm trying to move over the surface almost close but I don't see any snapping really happening there let me just select this to snap to surface and drag and then you should be able to see this is uh, snapping the edges precisely on the model and the difference can be clearly seen on this side versus this side so here we have the uh, free move and snap to surface this is greatly used for poly retopology uh, feature so we have a uh, smart attraction and normal attraction so let me just uh, select the edge here and then just click and drag now I'm going to select the next edge and then move it close and then you should be able to see there's a snap automatically happening there. Now if I just change this to normal attraction and then drag, you don't see any of such attraction happening there. If I just change that to smart attraction, then you should be able to see that's uh, precisely snapped there. So I've just changed the uh, scene to a simple plane here and I'm in the symmetry. I pressed X on the keyboard and then it's working symmetry there. And I'm just selecting those edges and dragging on the sides there. Okay, I can do that and then maybe I can drag this way. Okay, so whatever. So it just keeps snapping like that. Now, if I just go to the force symmetrical and then I just click and drag that edge. And then when I'm closing, I mean, when I'm nearing to this edges, both sides are snapping at one go. Let me just try this don't force symmetrical and then move it. And then you should be able to see the snapping is happening only there for one side and the other side is not really snapping to that edge let me try this to the force symmetrical again and then see 
it's it's precisely when i'm moving on the left side and no no symmetry when i'm moving on the left side you should be able to see it's shifting that way but for symmetrical when i'm moving it it's not shifting on the left side but it's coming to the center and then when i'm dragging it and then it's snapping at the same time on the both sides so that is uh, for symmetrical uh, here so these are all the options what we have in the extrude move if you got any questions or if you if you got any thing to say about this tool please let me know in the comment section and i request you to subscribe my channel and hit the like button thank you